Good morning, Tessa. Well, this story broke quite late last night here in the UK, but there has been a really positive reaction from the British government. Diplomats here in the Foreign Office especially, they put out a statement last night saying the UK welcomes this further action by our US allies. The strong international response to the use of a chemical weapon on the streets of Salisbury sends an unequivocal message to Russia that the provocative, that its provocative, reckless behaviour will not go unchallenged. And I think the real message there in the Foreign Office statement is that they do not want this in any way to be normalised. The use of a chemical weapon thought to be the first time since the First World War when the Skripals were poisoned and then Dawn Sturgis and her partner Charlie, Charlie Rowley some weeks ago. Now, in terms of what happens from here, it was reported earlier in the week that officials here on Whitehall are uh, at the point of almost requesting the extradition of two suspects from Russia. This has been a huge investigation involving hundreds of people. It obviously had new lines of inquiry when the second poisoning took place. So we may see in the coming days that request for extradition. But Russia, as we know, very unlikely uh, it's illegal for them to, uh, to, to, to do that under their constitution. And they'll be very resistant to anything. They have on social media platforms already criticized this statement coming from the United States.